Hello, I'm Tyler, and this is our submission to the Azure AI Hackathon 2021. Our project is called BirdBot, and BirdBot is a wildlife application that uses AI to teach people about birds. The project is currently split into two parts, the chatbot portion and the IoT portion, both of which use custom vision and machine learning. The goal of BirdBot is to create an IoT device for consumers that are interested in citizen science. We hope that this technology can be a catalyst for people to get excited about learning, conserving, and aggregating data about wildlife in their local areas. Now that the intro is done, let's jump into the chatbot portion of BirdBot. Alright, there are three main features to the chatbot portion of BirdBot. Learn about a random bird, which uses adaptive expression. Uh, ask a, bir a BirdBot about a bird, which uses Microsoft Lewis. And then you can send BirdBot a bird photo, which will use Microsoft Custom Vision. So let's just uh, learn about a random bird. So what this is going to do, it's going to generate a random number uh, using adaptive expression, and then it is going to aggregate data from Wikipedia. And uh, that Wikipedia data can be seen right here. It's going to give you uh, the type, the family, when it was named by, uh, uh, at what time it was named, so uh, 1788. Um, its current conservation status, uh, which is uh, given to us by the, I think it's International Union of Conservation. Um, and then if you want to click learn more, it'll take you to uh, the Wikipedia page on that random bird and you can see the range and all sorts of other stuff on the bird. Um, this application was designed uh, so we could learn about a random bird every single day and encourage other people to do the same. Um, so I'm just going to click this button a couple more times. Uh, this is a tuft puffin and then a Rudy Turnstone. Cool. Never seen that one before, actually. That one looks pretty cool. Um, and now we're going to look up uh, via common name. So uh, you can utilize some of the common names that are down below. Uh, let's just look up an American crow real quick. So uh, let's do that. Can you tell me about the boom? Sure, I'll get you information on the American crow, uh, which is great. So let's just do that one more time. Uh, let's get a American robin. Uh, can you tell me about American Robin? Cool. And then I'll say American Robin coming right up. Uh, it looks like American Robin is one of the most funded birds in North America, so you've probably seen them before, so uh, that's what they look like. And then the last feature of BirdBot will be uh, looking up birds via uh, Custom Vision AI. So uh, let's just do that real quick. Let's take an American Goldfinch. And we just send it to uh, the bot framework backend, and it will hit uh, custom Vision AI's API backend with a custom model that we built. And uh, you can see I sent it a picture of an American goldfinch, and uh, we now have an 86% confidence that this is an American goldfinch, and it'll give you a little bit of information about that bird. Uh, let's now test it with one more. Um, let's just go to my birds folder. Um, let's do an American Crow, click an American Crow, there we go, and boom, American Crow. So uh, those are the three main features of, of the BirdBot chatbot application at the moment. Uh, we're expanding uh, them more as they go on, but uh, that's all we got for the uh, hackathon at the moment. And now we will jump into the TensorFlow uh, object detection portion of the bot. All right, and this is the last portion of BirdBot, which will be the IoT and TensorFlow Lite portion of the bot. Um, we plan to upload custom vision object detection into um, an IoT device for citizen scientists, and this is a quick demo of TensorFlow Lite running over a couple of videos. Uh, it's not a very long demo, and there's a couple of issues that we're trying to solve, such as like a very fast bird movement. Uh, but it's a great demo to show that uh, object detection running on uh, bird videos. So you can see that this one is having, uh, it's jumping around between uh, confidence intervals, and this is a black cap chickadee. Uh, and I think we'll have one more black cap chickadee coming up. Uh, and yeah, those are our quick little uh, videos of TensorFlow Lite running for bird species detection. Uh, but yeah, thank you uh, and hope you like our project. Bye.